So you want to know how to muscle up. I'm here to help. Hey guys, I'm back for another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do a muscle up. So summer is just right around the corner and you want to go to the beach and impress your friends, right? So what is a muscle up? It's essentially when you do a pull up and a dip all in one motion. It's an incredible exercise. You never really see a lot of people do it. So when you go to the gym and you do it, people are going to look at you. It's just a hard exercise to do. And I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do it today. So the first thing that I need to address is I am a firm believer that if you can do 10 strict pull-ups, you should be able to do a muscle up. That being said, if you can do more reps than 10, that's even better. It gives you a better chance of actually being able to do the muscle up. The second thing that I need to also address is that if you cannot do 15 to 20 dips, work on that before you even attempt the muscle up. So when we get into the advanced exercises that I'm going to be addressing here, they are going to really increase your chance of actually getting to the muscle up within one to two weeks if you can even do these. So the first exercise is explosive pull-ups. Explosive pull-ups are pull-ups except you're actually going to be throwing yourself almost over the bar but not exactly. So you're going to have the bar to your waist. That being said, like if you're going up in a muscle up, it's a hook. It looks like a hook shape when you go up. So when you do explosive pull-ups and bring the bar to your waist, it makes it easier for your body to understand that, oh, at this point I just throw myself over the bar and I do a dip. The next exercise is it's a little bit on the same lines of an explosive pull-up, except you're going to be bringing your knees in when you're about to do the muscle-up. So you're going to do an explosive pull-up while bringing your knees inward. This is going to train the body to actually be able to do the muscle up. Now, the, the hardest part about the muscle up is the transition. Most people don't really know how to do it. It took me quite a while, frankly, to figure out this transition. So you can get a couple of dumbbells. They don't have to be really that big. Like they can be like 10 to 15 pounds. And focus on, of course, the transition with the dumbbells. Of course, it's not gonna be the same exact thing as if you're going on a pull up bar. You want to actually be able to get the dumbbells lower them like this and raise them strengthening the shoulders and making it a little bit easier to do the muscle up. One of the biggest things that I see a lot of people doing and it helps them out a lot is called the circle line technique. This is when you go up to the pull-up bar and you take a step back and you make an imaginary line. Okay. And the circle part is when you, again, stand in front of the pull-up bar and you take a step forward in front of the pull-up bar and you make a circle. So what you're going to do is you're going to actually stand on the line and you're going to jump up onto the pull-up bar and as you swing into the circle, as your feet hit the circle, as, a, as you're about to go backwards, that's when you pull up. I heard that technique works. I just think about it this way. I grab the pull-up bar and I kind of push myself forward a little bit. You have to have a little bit of shoulder flexibility to do that. You kind of bang yourself forward and then you kind of throw yourself over. That's how I've seen it. It just it depends on how you want to learn it. I find that that's probably one of the easier ways of doing it. Now, of course, if you're having just a little bit of a harder time getting over the bar, use bands. I actually was never a big person who used bands. I just never thought that they were necessary other than for just stretching your hamstrings or something like that. But as a matter of fact, they actually help you even achieve the muscle up. So basically just grab a rubber band, get the one that's the least resistive, tie it around the pull up bar right down the middle, put one of your feet in it and do muscle ups. This is going to help just ease you just slightly over the bar and make it a little bit easier. But of course, make the rubber bands or the assistance bands, make them significantly least resistive so that you don't have to use that at a certain point. And, I, and even the bands are going to help you train your body to be able to transition over the bar. Now, again, the transition, it's going to be a little bit difficult because of your wrist. 
This is the most important part of the video, is discussing the wrist. You have to have good grip strength, therefore you need to stretch out your wrist a lot and focus a lot on your grip. Now what I recommend doing is getting over the bar using a false grip. Now what is a false grip? You can do this with gymnastic rings, you can do this with the pull-up bar in general. You're going to put your hand over the bar, like your wrist over the bar like this, grab the bar, so it makes it easier for you to transition into the muscle. All you're going to do is put your hand through the ring like this, and you're going to grab around like this, so that it looks like this. It looks really awkward on the wrist, and it is, but when you train to actually do this, it's going to make it way easier, especially on the rings, to do a muscle up. But I recommend people to actually do muscle ups on the pull up bar first, because that doesn't require as much muscle stability compared to the rings, because they sway back and forth, and it's actually going to make you stronger if you do them on the rings. I'm still progressing to that point. But I can tell you right now, doing muscle ups on a pull-up bar is extremely impressive. And it's going to have a lot of people look at you, and you're going to impress a lot of people. So those are my top tips on how to do a muscle up. If you guys like this video, again, give it a like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.